Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market update. As usual, I'll keep this one very short. I want to aim for less than 10 minutes on this one because really there's not a whole lot that we need to be looking at right now. Um, the market is doing what we expected it to do. We had this cipher that everyone knows about by now and the bounce that we've had so far has come right up into an area of resistance that we did have marked out. So yeah, let's just get into it. So this cipher, a really nice reaction, right? And what you'd normally be looking for from a reaction off of a cipher is somewhere between the 382 and the 618 as common retrace areas for a pattern like this. With Bitcoin as well, we've got the 786 and things like that, but let's just keep it very simple. We're looking for a retrace before a correction within this area. And we've got that really nicely. So at the moment here, we're within this area of the 0.5. So this is a big take profit area. If you're in a long from down here, you've got to be taking profit up here. And also we've got our weekly level. Now, this is like a middle range weekly, but it has been really well respected previously. And it lines up nicely with a bunch of other things that are going on in this area so i'm just keeping this on as a weekly level but it doesn't just mean it's a weekly level there's also a lot of other things around here but if we look at this just on its own what has it done we've had a move above where it formed the weekly came into it had a big bounce made new all-time high so it was acting as support we come back down it tries to hold this area we lose it and now for the first time, we're coming up and hitting it as resistance. So you would expect, as this is the first time it's come to it as resistance, that this would get a move down. How big that move down is, we don't know yet. Like we've had a nice rejection off of it. So yeah, it's just, it's a nice level um, as an area to be aware of. So this is 55... 790 so 55 800 area with this 0 0.5 at 56k exactly and um yeah what we also have here is if we were to pull a fixed range from the whole range so far we have we know our point of control is up here but we have this area of high volume coming in in this area as well now we also have this high volume <clears throat> no, it kind of comes down to roughly where we've retraced on price so far. You can also pull this fixed range over. If you're looking at this, it's kind of split into two ranges. And right now we're just holding within this value area of this intra range range <laughs> that's going on. Okay. Um. So yeah, it's natural that we would get a retrace here. And what my, I guess, preferred scenario would be right now is for this just to consolidate within this area for a few days. <clears throat> um, we'll look to, at support that is below. We do have really nice support that's below. But now that we're back within this range, it would be a really good sign of strength of the market if this was just to hold around this area for a couple of days. Yep. Now, if we do start to break down, and this is probably breaking down out of this range that we were in last week and trying to hold, this is the area that I would like to see it hold now. But if we do start to break down, then we do obviously have lower areas of support. <clears throat> so let's just bring up our golden pocket here. Now, this brings us back down into the range we were in before that final shakeout and the bounce. That's quite that's quite a long way down at this stage. Um, but if we do come down there, it's a really nice area to compound and it certainly would be, yeah, you could trade that back up to the weekly area quite nicely. Um, so on top of that, we do have that lining up again with just very basic stuff really. You can say we've got support, resistance. This is kind of an area like we've done with this weekly where you come up, have it as support, you lose it. Now we're back up and you would expect this to be support. 
So this is kind of a similar level to what this weekly is right here. So this is, yeah, not really looking at anything too technical today. It's just areas where we could find price going to. Now, if I put the full fib on, I think what is maybe a little bit more likely or, well, not more likely, but what I would prefer to see is a consolidation between our 55,800 area and let's say 52,500 area. So this will be our 382. So forming a range here would be really constructive for eventually a break higher. I think that would also give altcoins a really good chance to just do what they want to do. Um, and uh, yeah, we can move from there. So at the moment, I'm just, I'm in a swing long and I'm also hedged in a short. Now I took profit on that short already after we got this kind of this nice move down. But uh, yeah, I'm not really doing anything else. I'm just sitting with what I have. I'm happy to hold what I have at this point. And uh, yeah, at the moment, this looks still very healthy. So we can go into the lower time frames. We do have a support that's coming in around here. And we're just still doing that, just gradually stepping up. Um, so yeah, we'll just see see what happens. Uh, cool. I don't really think there's anything else I really want to go over. Um, I will update everyone within the group on uh, any of these shorter term time frame areas that we have to be aware of. But really what we're looking at right now is we're just we're just back in this range that we had previously. Uh, we can hide this cipher now, it's not really important. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're just back within this range. Uh, so you have your highs and you have your lows and just really like this is just not off anything technical, it's just going from how I like to do it, which is the first high form to the first low. We have this range here going on. So, yeah, very simple stuff. Cool. Okay, let's have a look at... Uh, what am I looking at? Ethereum? So Ethereum still looks really good. Um, yeah, it's just moving up and we do have this target up here on Ethereum for a further, well, a further 18% move up against Bitcoin here. So this is the target for me. After we've got some nice closes outside here, I'm what I was saying previously is that a monthly close above this line and things look very, very good. Um, we've already had a weekly close above there and we've had a weekly close above this wick, which for me was important. And since then we have back tested. Okay, and now we're just, yeah, <laughs> it looks like this is just getting ready just to move higher again. So Ethereum looks really, really good. Uh, okay. Ethereum USD holding above previous highs. So again, healthy, healthy here on Ethereum. And Litecoin, again, is doing what we expected, holding this monthly. And now this is the, this is where things change for me on Litecoin is previously when, when it came up to this red line, it has never managed to hold this monthly. It has always fallen back down to this one. So the 4,000 sats monthly that we have down here okay <clears throat> now if this can change that like market structure that it's had for the best part of two years now if it can change that then this is where i would be looking for this to break and i do think we're getting into that area where this does have potential to break um again if we can get a monthly close above here that's brilliant um yeah, and then I'm looking for higher. This will be a take profit area for sure. Uh, but again, we're looking at a 12% move up against Bitcoin. 
And then if we do break this area of resistance on Litecoin, and this is on the BTC pair, then really we are looking, well, let's have a look. Um, yeah, I'd say realistically, we're looking back towards probably the, at least kind of 7,000 sats here. So this could be quite a big move up, like once we're out of this area here, I do think we could see quite a rapid move up to, yeah, let's just, let's just say 7,000 sats ish. So that's a really nice move. Um, and that probably takes us up to looking at all time highs on Litecoin as well. So rest of the market, um, what I'll do on this is I'm going to make a separate video. Uh, I will try and get this done today. But we have some alts that we'd taken trades off. So Acro was a really nice trade and we're approaching our target now on Acro. Um, whoops. And yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Let's see what Doge is doing. <laughs> Still hanging out up here. Okay, yep, that will do uh, 11 minutes long video. That is fine for me today. So, uh, okay. Uh, what I will do is quickly, so anyone <clears throat> as usual who is watching this and is not part of our trading community already, please do come and join us. So I'll pull this up on screen now. So we have a really nice community that, um, <laughs> let's delete that. Uh, yeah, a bunch of really good traders in here. Um, lots of really nice ideas. And uh, yeah, the link to join us is in the description below. Um, cool, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do come and join us if you would like to. Okay, I am going to finish there. All right, thanks a lot, guys, and I will see you all in the chat. Cheers.